Hi, I'm Stephen from Academic Skills, and today we're here to talk about effective note-taking. You might ask yourself, why is note-taking from text so important at uni? Well, one reason could be that notes from a text can often form the first draft of an assignment, so note-taking will help you to get a better mark. Now, let's hear from three UniMelb students about how they take useful notes from their reading. Meg, Rue and Lee. Hi, I'm Meg. I'm doing a Bachelor of Arts at UniMelb, uh, majoring in Ancient Greek and Latin. For me, the most important step in successful note-taking happens before I even set pen to paper. There are a few preliminary questions I try to think about in advance, like whether I want to type my notes or write them out longhand. But the most crucial one is this. What is the purpose of these notes? Am I writing these notes to better understand the subject, or am I writing them with one eye on my assessments? To be completely honest with you, most of my notes fall into the second category, in which case I need to know what kinds of assessments I'll be tackling throughout the semester. If I'm going to be sitting an exam and need to memorise dates or quotes or vocab, it's important for me to have clean notes that cover only the key information I need to remember, divided into logical sections I can tackle one at a time. For me, writing notes out physically helps with my memory retention, so I'll always write these notes out longhand. Another thing I do when preparing for an exam is to look through all the notes I've made throughout the semester and try to condense it to one or two A4 pages. If you could take a cheat sheet into the exam with you, what would you put on it? This will give you a clear indication of what stuff you need to prioritise learning. On the other hand, I also have a lot of essay assignments. In that case, taking notes on a primary text or a primary source will look different to taking notes on secondary sources, and both of these types of notes will look different depending on the subject. When reading a primary text for classes like literature, I sort my notes into three different sections. Macroanalysis, which includes things like themes and motifs. Microanalysis, which includes any specific quotes or literary techniques I find. And authorial intent, which is basically my interpretation of what the author wants the reader to get out of their text. These are all very specific because they're tailored to the three major aspects that students will expect to appear in a literature essay. That's why it's important to work backwards. I sit down and work out everything I'll be expected to include in my essay, then try to narrow it further to a few core concepts. That way I can figure out how to integrate these core components into my note taking at the start of the semester, so that when essays start to roll around, I'm able to refresh all the key information and analysis I've written quickly and easily. Hi, I'm Rue. I'm a Bachelor of Arts student majoring in Geography. For my art subjects, I tend to have a good amount of required weekly readings. To take notes from those readings, I use a basic simple word document. I like to just have one word doc for each subject, and each week, I would go back to the same one to add on my new notes so that I have all my notes stored in one file. For each text, I will start by using a heading and putting down a title that includes the week the reading is for, the name of the text, the author, and the year the paper was published. I make it a point to do this because by the end of the semester, the document becomes pretty massive. By using headings, I can see all the readings I have done in the navigation pane, and I'm able to go to the relevant section quickly when I need to search up a particular piece of information for an assignment. I would usually use a split screen to allow me to type and reword things as I read through the text, as I find that this helps me better process the information. But when I'm rushing to get through a reading before a tutorial, I would just directly copy quotes from a PDF. When I'm reading the introduction of a journal article, I will note down any definitions or trends mentioned that form the context of the paper, as well as the main arguments that are introduced. In the paragraphs following the introduction, I know that I am expecting to read about how the author explains the arguments, so here, I like to use plenty of bullet points to break down the different key parts of the reasoning, and I would also bold key phrases and add sub-bullets for any elaboration to help ensure that everything still makes sense when I come back to my notes in the future. I would also note down any secondary citations for other sources supporting what the author is trying to argue, and also for any counter-arguments acknowledged. This means that when I need to write my essays, I have potential sources that I could use all in one place. 
Hi, my name is Lee. I did my Master of Engineering two years ago at the UNIMEL, and then I'm doing my second year of Master of Teaching. My learning areas are physics and math. If you're doing STEM subjects, your note-taking will be a little bit different from the humanities subjects. For example, you're probably going to deal with a lot of symbols, equations, and also codes as well. But I will highly recommend you to take notes when you're attending your lectures and tutorials. For example, the forms of your notes will be pretty much different when you deal with like heavy text. And um, the purpose of it will be different as well. For example, it will give you a bit of memory and revision at the end of the semester and also help you to prepare your assessment and final exam as well. And gives you a little bit overview about the subject as a kind of summary. So there are three things to remember in order to take better notes at uni. First, decide on your main purpose for note-taking. It could be to better understand a subject, or it could be to improve the quality of assignments. Two, remember that what you are studying will influence the type of notes you take. There is no one perfect method that works well for everyone. So be flexible and experiment with different approaches. Lastly, technology can greatly assist the process of note-taking, but there is still a place for handwritten notes. Good luck with your note taking. For more tips and resources, search for Academic Skills, UniMelb.